Even though North America and Europe are separated by quite a large ocean, they do share a lot of the same wildlife. Many birds and large herbivores can be found on both continents, and so can many large apex predators. In today's video, I will be focusing on these animals, and I will be trying to figure out if these predators are more aggressive towards humans in North America or Europe. This of course is quite a complicated thing to figure out, as there are many factors that lead to animal attacks on humans. Animal attacks on humans are more common in places with human-wildlife conflict, and in areas where the animals are desperate. If a certain animal is a victim of habitat loss or poaching, it's far more likely to attack humans, as it will be struggling for food and it will view humans as a threat. Animal attacks on humans are also more common in areas where people start to feed the predators, as the animals will then start to associate humans with food. In some cases, the predators will see humans directly as a food source, and this usually results in the predator being shot. These factors are part of the reason why it's hard to determine if predators are more aggressive in one area than they are in another, but I'll do my best with the information at hand. The first predator we will be focusing on today is the brown bear, and this bear can be found across Eurasia and North America. The brown bear is one of the largest land predators alive today, and it has quite a few subspecies across its range. Some of the subspecies in Spain and Italy are known for being less aggressive, but Europe was once home to a much more carnivorous bear. The Eurasian brown bear is the most common subspecies of brown bear in Europe, and it is also one of the largest subspecies. North America is also home to quite a few distinct subspecies, with some of the most famous being the grizzly bear and the Kodiak bear. The Kodiak bear is one of the largest subspecies of brown bear in the world, and it's only really rivaled by the Kamchatka brown bear and the Azuri brown bear. Strangely, there is a very long list of fatal bear attacks in North America, and they are documented very extensively. The information on fatal bear attacks in Europe is a lot harder to come by, but there have been a few notable attacks in recent years. The most recent fatal brown bear attack in North America happened on the 29th of September 2023, and unfortunately two individuals and their dog lost their lives. This happened in a national park in Alberta, and eventually the bear was shot. Earlier on last year, there was also another fatal brown bear attack, and this attack happened in Yellowstone. Unfortunately, in this case, a 48-year-old woman lost her life, but these were the only two fatal brown bear attacks in North America last year. The topic of bear attacks in Europe is quite raw at the moment, as there have been a few incidents over the past few days. A woman fell to her death in Slovakia after being chased by a bear, and only hours later a bear was filmed attacking people in a Slovakian town. Thankfully no one was killed in this attack, but it was a very different story in Romania back in 2019. Romania is home to most of the bears in Europe, with an estimated 6,000 bears living in the country. Back in 2019, there were three fatal attacks in the country, and this led to many people demanding the government to control their numbers. There was another fatal attack in Italy last year, and there was some controversy as some believed that the wrong bear was captured, and there was some debate over what should be done to the captured bear. On average, there are more fatal brown bear attacks in North America than there are in Europe, but this could be down to the population of bears on both continents. The US is home to around 32,500 brown bears, and Canada is home to around 25,000 brown bears. Europe is home to at least 17,000 brown bears, but this hardly compares to the North American population. As I've already covered, some of the subspecies in Europe are known for being less aggressive, and the US is home to some of the larger, more aggressive subspecies. This is why I think it's safe to say that the North American bears are more aggressive, and they're more dangerous to humans than the European bears. The next predator we will be taking a look at is the grey wolf. Once again, Europe and North America are home to quite a few subspecies, and these subspecies differ in shape, size, and behavior. Even though many people view the wolf as an extremely deadly animal, they do not kill as many people as we're led to believe. In many cases, people will try and use the fact that they're a predator as an excuse to eliminate them, and this is why wolf populations have been plummeting over the past few centuries. 
Because these animals prey on livestock, they are often shot and killed by humans. But there are often better ways to deal with this conflict. Europe is home to at least 17,000 grey wolves, whereas North America is home to at least 75,000. The majority of these wolves can be found in Canada, and these animals are regularly hunted here. Four of the most recent wolf attacks happened in Europe, but none of these attacks were fatal to humans. It does seem like there are far more wolf attacks in Russia, but this would make sense as there are around 300,000 wolves in Russia. One of the most recent fatal wolf attacks in Europe happened in Ukraine, and this was all the way back in July 2012. The victim of this attack was only two years old, and tragically he was taken while at a family gathering. One of the most recent fatal wolf attacks in North America happened all the way back in 2010, and this is when a 32-year-old teacher was killed. From the data, it's clear that there are far more wolf attacks in Europe, but the overwhelming majority of these attacks are non-fatal. Many of these attacks were due to rabies, and most of the victims walked away with minimal injuries. So overall, it seems like the wolves in Europe are slightly more dangerous. But these animals aren't as aggressive towards humans as we're led to believe. The final predator we will be taking a look at is the polar bear. And this is easily the most dangerous predator in this video. The polar bear is of course closely related to the brown bear. And these two species can even interbreed. The polar bear is the largest extant species of bear, and it's one of the few predators that views humans directly as a food source. Thankfully, humans do not come into contact with polar bears that often, but when they do, it can be very dangerous. There was a fatal polar bear attack in Wales, Alaska last year, where a mother and her son were killed. Before this, there were two fatal polar bear attacks in Canada in 2018, and these attacks happened in the same territory, and they were only a few weeks apart. In Europe, there's only a few places where you can find polar bears, and one of these areas is the Svalbard Archipelago. There was a fatal polar bear attack here in 2020, and a 38-year-old man lost his life. In 2011, a polar bear attacked a group of students and their guides, and this resulted in one person losing their life. Thankfully, attacks such as these are very rare, and understandably, people are very cautious in areas with polar bears. Problem polar bears are often shot before they get the chance to attack humans, but sometimes people find themselves in the wrong place at the wrong time. This section is very hard to judge, mostly due down to the lack of fatal attacks and the small areas in which these bears visit. As there are slightly more attacks in North America, I think it's fair to say that they have the more dangerous polar bears. But you'll have to let me know what you think in the comments down below. If there are any other animals that you think I should have featured in this video, then let me know down in the comments below. But until next time, goodbye.